In today's video, we'll be focusing on how to install FreeVPN on, a, on an Ubuntu machine. And most of the settings we're gonna be doing are gonna be on a GUI or on a graphical user interface. We'll have, to, we'll have to run one command on the GUI though. So that's the first one we'll start with that we'll need to use to install the network manager for OpenVPN. So we'll go to it, we'll open the terminal so we can run that one command. Now the command is going to be sudo apt install dash y open open vpn network dash manager dash open vpn space network manager dash open VPN, open VPN genome. Press enter, put in your password. Now I had already installed this earlier. So it's saying that the network manager open VPN is already at the newest version. And so is the network manager open VPN genome. So this one not, were not installed. So that's it. That's all we need to do on the terminal. The next thing we need to do is open the browser so that we can download the uh, VPN, free VPN. So you can Google for free VPN book, open VPN. And then we'll scroll down. Uh, you have four different tabs. We wanna go with the open VPN tab. Here is a list of the different bundles that are available. Then there's also the username and password. We'll use this, we'll need this username and password when we're trying to enable the VPN. Now I'll go with this US1 server bundle. So double click on it. It should just download it onto your computer. We'll go to the downloads folder to make sure it's actually downloaded. So in the downloads folder, as you can see, we have VPN book open uh, VPN. This one is unzipped file that I'd unzipped before, but then you have two zip files. Zip file one. So actually we have three different ones. What I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete the other ones and just be left with one. Now we only have one. What we need to do with this one is we need to unzip it. So right click it say extract here and we should get this new folder which if we click we'll have four different files so we'll need to import one of these files from the gui when we are looking to enable the free vpn and that's the next step you can minimize this at the top right you see this icon here for your network connections if you click on it you see you have wired, connected, you have settings, just click on settings. And then the new window that pops up, you have here um, an option that says VPN. So I already have one that I uh, created before. You can go to settings and I will remove it. Now I don't have any VPN. Now let's say this is your first time adding a VPN. This is what it's gonna look like for you. So click on this plus icon, click on import file, go to your downloads folder, go to that folder we just unzipped, then select one of these four files, I'll go with this one. Then it's gonna auto populate all this information for you, the name, the gateway, um, authentication type is gonna be using a password. So this is information we'll have to get from the website. So we we'll go back to the website. And if you look at the bottom here, there's a username and the password. So we'll have to put in the username here, VPN book. So highlight it and copy it. Go back to your add VPN a window, paste the username. Then you have to type in the password here. So back to the browser, 
So this one, we can't copy it. We have to actually type it. So it's uh, C9, C4. So C9, C4. And then B4A. B4A. These are auto populated for us the certificate and the private key. We don't have to change anything, leave everything else as de at the default, and then click on add at the top right. Now, to enable the VPN, we just toggle this to on. Before we do that, let's check our interfaces, we'll do IP address. As you can see here, we don't have a tunnel interface. We only have a lookback and a ENS33 for a lo local IP. The 172.16.1.100 is our local LAN. Once we enable the VPN, we should get a third interface, which is going to be tunnel interface, tunnel one. So we'll go back to the settings. We'll toggle this back, this to on. We'll wait a few seconds. And then we'll go back to the uh, terminal. We'll do um, IP address again. And now we have a tunnel here, tunnel one, which is a, a point to point. So this is our VPN tunnel, and it's got an IP of 10.9.0.38. Okay, so now that we have VPN enabled, we should be able to hide our public IP address, so we should be able to mask our public IP address. And that's one of the main reasons why we actually use a VPN. So that hides the public IP and also hides our location. Now we'll go to a web browser and uh, try and see what it's showing for our public IP. So we'll go to browser, we'll go to, you can say IP chicken. And then we'll open this link saying our pub, uh, public IP is 198.7.62.04. And this is actually not my actual uh, public IP address. This uh, it's an IP address for us1.vpnbook.com. So this IP address belongs to the VPN, the open, open uh, VPN book server. So that way we are able to add our, our public IP address. So that should be it for this video. One other thing I can show is how to turn off your VPN. You can actually just close this. If you wanted to turn off your VPN, you'll have to toggle this to off. And once you come back to this and do IP address, this should go away, turn it on. Now toggle that to off, wait a few seconds, come back here, we'll do clear, we'll do IP address, we'll do IP address, and then we'll do enter. Now we only have, we are back to two interfaces, the loopback and the ENS33. The tunnel is, is gone and it's been disabled. That's all for this video. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks, bye.